everybody. I'm your host, Ashley, from Jiu-Jitsu Sisterhood, and today I'm here with Shalina Horn. Say hello. Hello. Nice to see you all. If you guys haven't seen her um, on the Jiu-Jitsu Sisterhood channel, we did do some commentary on some Medusa matches. If you want to check her out, she's there. She did awesome. She whooped butt. That involves blood and punches. Okay, not punches, but like face palms. <laughs> Little slaps here and there. <laughs> and it's very exciting to watch. Um, she also just did main character Jiu-Jitsu, and she did the 145-pound bracket. How was that for you? Um, that was a lot of fun, honestly. I came here to get uh, hopefully as many matches as I can, and I'm competing at the uh, main character jiu-jitsu event tomorrow again at 140 pounds, so you can <laughs> at five pounds less. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then how, how did you, you won your bracket. I won my bracket today, yeah. She won her bracket, yeah. guys. She did awesome. And just so for the people who don't know you too well, because I'm also still getting to know you. Absolutely. Um, just give them a little background about yourself, like how long you've been training, um, mm -hmm. your rank. I know she trains out of West Coast BJJ. Yeah. And I saw you do a little bit of wrestling too. So just give us a little background of like how you train and where you train and how long you've been training. Totally. Okay. So for jujitsu, I've been training for about six years or so. And I originally started with wrestling. Um, and that was back in high school. I got into that. Um, I was super, super shy at the time, and I think it just helped me to get out of my shell. And I could get out there and I could compete. I didn't have to talk too much, and I could just be in my own head, and my, um, my skills and my hard work would kind of uh, show for itself at times. Yeah, you didn't have to like hype yeah. anybody to your game. <laughs> like, I'm yeah. awesome, what do you mean? Come watch me. <laughs> yeah, and then win or lose, right? It's building character, and that's, that's all what it's about. And then, yeah, so after that, um, I did a little bit in university wrestling, and then uh, I stopped. I moved from Edmonton, Alberta in Canada to Victoria, BC, and I was bored. I was used to being super active, and then I discovered this jujitsu thing, and I just fell in love. It was so amazing. Really? <laughs> and the community, too. I think that's like what really stuck me to it. How did you, how did you even get introduced to jujitsu? Um, I dropped in at this uh, MMA gym. Oh, look at you. By yourself? By myself, yeah. I, I, so I was new brave. in town, so I, hadn't, I didn't know too many people yet. And I stayed for the class, and then um, I actually arrived for an open mat, and I didn't know it was an open mat, so I was like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> and luckily... That's rough, because actually, yeah, we did have somebody <laughs> come into our open mat, and that was like the first time they had ever been on the mat. Yeah. And then he's just there like getting like thrown around. <laughs> Yeah, this is music. Like, what do I do? Well, he but was laughing the whole time. Also, you were like, hey, yeah. "What's happening?" <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you're mm -hmm. cool. You said six years, and you've been at the same gym, I guess, but at West Coast. For yeah, six years? yeah, absolutely. Cool. And then, what made you want to do main character jujitsu? Um, I had actually seen, um, if you've seen Maggie on this competition circuit, she was competing today. I noticed that she's, because she's from BC as well, I saw her do the card before, and then so I was kind of following it, and I was like, this is fun. Like, you Maggie? Get, yeah, Maggie oh. Mark. Because you get to like wear costumes and things and whatever else, so. <laughs> um, and more competition, it's always fun. Uh, yeah, so kind of looking forward to it. live in Canada? I do, yes. I live okay. in Canada. <laughs> so, but that Medusa thing was also in the States, right? It was. I, I got an invite for that, so that was nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yes, you've been flying out here all the time. Might as well just move over here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. It does, it does get expensive flying, as you know. <laughs> Have you trained with Brianna St. Marie? Oh, that's on my bucket list. Oh. So I just missed her. Um, she did another seminar. The Beach Babe one? The one there, there's a seminar. And I just couldn't swing it. You know, I had to save my funds to come here. Same. So, Same. I also you know, you got to pick went. and choose. I almost, you must I almost went also, but it was just a little too pricey, and I had just gone to Vegas for the trials mm -hmm. to interview people. Have you trained with her? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't roll with her, but I got instruction from her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't get the chance to roll with her. There's too many girls, honestly. Fair enough. But if I she's watching this, I would like to roll with her. Oh. I, I mean, I could tag her and let me like, hey, this, this, this badass lady right here. She wants to meet you. Let's roll. Fellow sure. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> Fellow Canadian. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, cool. And then, so as a competitor, like, what are your goals with that? Um, okay, so <laughs> I have, I feel like I have a lot of goals. So <laughs> I had my first, like, international jiu-jitsu tournament last December, um, like, one of IBJJF. Oh, okay. World, so uh, I ended up placing third there. World. So nice. That was your first one? That, first was my, that was my first IBJJF, like, cool. legit tournament, so. It? 
I had a lot of fun. I think <laughs> I, I had like, like six matches or something. Face. Yeah. Because <laughs> the point I'm, system, that's why I asked. I'm like, it's a little yeah. different than like this with the sub only. And yeah, the point, I prefer sub only. I got to be honest. It's, it feels more genuine, but. Right, like more realistic jujitsu, right? Instead yeah. Instead of having to like, oh, I just want these points. And and I might not sub you. I might, but I might not. <laughs> yeah, or sometimes like, oh, whoops, I kind of touched my butt to the mat. Oh, shoot, they scored two points, you know? Like, <laughs> you got to think like, about we that. We did have fun. That's yeah. awesome. We're well, going to do it again? Um, yeah, so that's, oh, I got sidetracked. So Sorry. that's one of my goals, yeah, is to hopefully win IBJJF um, Worlds Nogi. Hopefully this year. I'm imagining, I'm still purple belt, I've, so I'm hoping to have a shot at purple belt, maybe get the title there. And then I'd really like to compete at some of these ADCC tournaments. You haven't done any? I haven't done them yet. Oh my god, I'm so surprised. I could have sworn you at least did one or so. Like No, so the last one we had one in Vancouver and I just had surgery on my arm. So I unfortunately couldn't like partake in that, but the next one that's close to us, like I'd like to jump in there. And then I'd like to go to the trials next year. Okay. So or next time. Yeah. Right when they that, like redo yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, um, mm -hmm. dang, what was I going to say? <laughs> was it about the... Oh, yeah, I just assumed you had done it before, like the ADCC, because I guess, I don't know, you just came in so, like, aggressive and, like, super good. I was just like, yeah, for sure she's done ADCC. Like, look, look at this jiu-jitsu. How has she not done it? So that's actually pretty shocking, yeah. I love, I love to compete, and I love to wrestle, so I'm actually really excited for the ADCC rule set. I've done the rule set before, but just not the actual tournaments. I see, like practicing, I guess? Um, or like smaller tournaments, maybe. Yeah, do it. Washington Submission Series. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did that one. Yeah, and that was that's a good tournament too. That was pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I know you said that Brianna St. Marie's on your bucket list to like train with. To train with, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she's your number one, but that was actually one of my questions. Like, if you could row with anyone and train with them, like, who would it be? Oh man. Oh, that's like a really, really good question. I need to think on that like a little bit more. You want to follow, like, you want to circle back to that one? I got other questions. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because you always, I always think like I, I watch a lot of like Fionn Davies because I really like her yeah, style. Yeah. So um, I think that would be an obvious choice for like a lot of women here. Yeah, I think she was on my list too. And I was like, let me yeah. answer these questions myself. But like, <laughs> who would I pick? I tried to DM her to see if she wanted to do like a seminar in Vancouver Island because we have a women's jujitsu uh, like traveling open mat. And I was like, I wonder if oh, she cool. would do a seminar one time. You know. Yeah, I mean, that's what I do. I do traveling open mats for yeah, women. Yeah, so Just cool. Just in Florida only because travel is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I'm in Florida, I'd like to. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, we do like the Broward County, Miami Dade County area. So if you're ever there, just hit me up and I'll be like, I'll make an open map. Yes. <laughs> That'd be so fun. <laughs> That'd be super fun. Okay, so then, okay, so we'll circle back to who you would want to train with besides Fionn and Brianna, it, Brianna, if you can come up with another answer. Okay, okay. I think Dern would be fun too, even though she's like yeah. older, like, you know, more classic jujitsu. I think she would be really fun to train with also. What do you think? That, I would love to roll with Mackenzie Dern, yeah. <laughs> super cool. That'd okay. So this might be a little thinker too. Um, okay. What's your most memorable victory and like what made it so unforgettable? My most memorable victory? Ooh, for jujitsu. Um, hmm. Giant celebration. You're like, oh my God, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I, you know what? I, even though I didn't win on Medusa, I made it into the semifinals. You did so good. And uh, that was actually quite a big deal for me, first off to be on that show and um, Having, I won like two of the matches there. So and you didn't I win. You didn't win the whole event, but you no. did have victories. So those <laughs> victories, like I felt extremely proud of myself for that. Um, what made it unforgettable? Was it because that was like your first uh, combat? Is that, was that your first combat? Yes, that was my first like combat jiu-jitsu match and it was in Hollywood and it was on Eddie Bravo's show. So I was like, this You're is like, cool. hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I did it. I think um, I did something blood in one of your matches, no? Yeah, yeah, I got whacked in the nose, and so <laughs> my nose was bleeding a little bit. Um, and then I guess if I can speak to wrestling, I, I won Can West one time, so Western Canada. Um, that was like a big tournament for me. That was a big deal. So I felt made, really good. Unforgettable. Um, Did you like hit some awesome move or something? No, you know what? <laughs> I feel like it's when the grit just. Uh, it like serves you well and you end up getting good. through the match it is gritty maybe not the most technical but it like those grimy matches where you have to work really really hard oh, and like then that endorphin release that you get when you're like finally like i did it yeah <laughs> I so <got> through that. <laughs> for me those are some like the most memorable matches that's true yeah those really tough yeah. ones that you have to like really like mm -hmm. 
put 120 percent and then you end up getting that w yeah exactly That's awesome <laughs> awesome okay okay here's a, a fun question what's the silliest place you've done jiu-jitsu like even if it's just playing around even if it's just like playing around like a pool or like i don't know a hotel bed i don't know you know like what's the silliest place that you've done because you know jiu-jitsu people we tend to like just do jiu-jitsu wherever we are we do <laughs> yeah so what can you think of a silly place i'm thinking of okay so i was rolling with my sister who doesn't actually do jiu-jitsu but she does wrestling and we were in mexico my brother is about to get married and it was like on the floor of our hotel room so i guess you guessed it right there but um be a common place and i also have to say like on the plane uh with my oh. partner we were hand fighting <laughs> That's, that's funny. Yeah, just let's practice hand fighting. Yeah, we could do this in chairs. We're, yeah, exactly. So that's maybe that counts. Awesome. Okay. So let me see. Did I ask all my questions? Okay, let me see. I think that's most of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you weren't doing jujitsu or wrestling, yeah. what activity do you think you would be doing? Mm. I think I'd be doing maybe like dance or like yeah. I don't know yoga or something I don't know because I like those things too I like and I used to be well, in dance yeah. you know like get to move the body <laughs> I, I could see you being really really good at that I'd love to see you dance I'm very free-spirited dancing very hippie love dancing that. I don't I don't got uh, no choreography <laughs> no you just listen to your soul yeah. that's good uh, <laughs> yeah, just that. yeah. <laughs> a lot of that <laughs> literally my dancing <laughs> okay I'm thinking so another sport that I really, really love and I could see myself continuing to do is like softball, actually. Oh, really? I did softball, too. You did? When did you do yeah. it? How old um, you? I did it growing up. So it was like a big thing for my family. It was baseball. Okay. So I grew up, I was like the kid on the field, like while my brother was playing ball. And then my dad coached like my teams, all my oh. siblings teams, actually. And um, I think what was really valuable about that, which translates to jujitsu that you might not think about all the time. Yeah is uh, when you're up to bat or you're about to throw a pitch or whatever, it's just you and that task, that job that you have to do. So similar to getting out on the mat, right? It's just you and your opponent. So it, the weight is on your shoulders. So you, yeah, <laughs> so you have to practice that mindset. And I would always feel that going up to bat, right? I'm like, okay, me in the pitcher. Let's Interesting. Get this <laughs> I think I may have been too young. I think I was like eight years old. So I don't think I had that mentality to even process what was going on. <laughs> I just gotta hit the ball <laughs> really hard. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, so you were a little older, so you were a little more like aware of what like what was going on, I guess. That's Took it I'm... pretty seriously. I was like, yeah, gotta hit this ball. <laughs> and then who would you say was your biggest inspiration for jujitsu? Oh, my biggest inspiration. Um, my partner, John Coots. Cause yeah, he's a black belt. He's also competing on the main card tomorrow. And he inspires me like literally every day. And I think it's so fun that we both do jujitsu. So yeah. Cute. All right, last question. Yeah. What is a fun fact about you? Or anything just interesting, really? It doesn't have to be fun and silly. Just interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, so I just finished my elementary and middle school teaching degree. Nice. So oh, yeah, I saw your graduation photo. Yeah. I, like, I wonder what she, what she like, like was right in the mm -hmm. so I it up. <laughs> so I was working with kindergarten, and I absolutely love kindergarten. It, you love kindergarten? Yeah. You like children? It's, I do, yeah. It's it's an extreme sport as well. <laughs> Teaching kindergarten. <laughs> Teaching. Yeah. Oh my God. Bro, that's crazy. So, yeah, so she just graduated. That's cool. So, yeah, you're a full time educator. You're still out here putting putting up these good fights. Like, I'm a pharmacist. You're a pharmacist. I'm a pharmacist. Cool. Yeah, so I, you know, to find the energy. Helping people. Yes. <laughs> Giving people their drugs. Yes. <laughs> So it's like, you know, it's hard to find time to, you know, put in all the work and the yeah. training. Like, what do you recommend for that? Now that you, I know that you're also like a full-time career woman. Yeah. Um, How do you find the time to train so hard? You have to like be determined and deliberate with it and just have it be a habit. So Discipline. Yeah. So you know, like you're going to be tired from your day of working, right? Yeah. Have a banana in your car, whatever, and you got to get out there and train. And I think another part of that that really helps is having people that you like on the mats there that you want to go and see. Yeah, you're like your biffles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I think that's really helpful for um, getting out there. But it is discipline. discipline. Yeah. And knowing that your head is probably going to feel nicer, your rest is going to be better like after you've trained. Right. Think about the post effect, the post benefit. Mm -hmm. Cool. Is there anything you'd like to say to your current and future fans <laughs> <laughs> um it's great talking with you oh, and thanks. 
Hello, future fans. That would be really sweet, actually. <laughs> so, Shalina Horn, you want to give them your Instagram where they can follow you and you know yeah. watch your journey? Um, I would love to. Uh, my Instagram is Shalina H. Um, so, uh, Shalina dot H. And I'll tag her in the video too. Okay, good, because it's actually really hard to spell. But okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to me. You're the You're sweetest. Oh, I really appreciate it. Mm, you were super <laughs> sweet. I mean, you looked sweet, but you were like more sweet than I imagined. <laughs> oh, thank you. So thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed our conversation with Shalina Horn. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> thank you.